This building really is the melting pot of ideas from, from industry and ideas from academia to come together to define a better way to do science. So this building is designed to be spiky. It's designed to make people feel differently. It's designed to make people think differently so that they design every aspect of their chemistry, so that they feel every aspect of their chemistry. This building is remarkable in its outward appearance, in its performance, and its ability to grab hold of people to make them say, wow. This building was also designed to be more efficient. This building uses a fraction of the energy, a fraction of the water, to deliver the impacts of science and the development in science that we as a society need if we are going to become more sustainable. It inspires people to innovate. It inspires people to be the best because everybody is looking at them. We have to take people into a different path. We have to make them think differently to innovate and drive to a better solution. So our construction team was fantastic. They delivered us the best set of laboratories in the world. And they've also managed to inspire not only our scientists, but also the general public that sits around us. But actually, much more profoundly, this building is for our community. This building will define better ways to do science, not just for our scientists, who will become the next leaders in science, but for our whole discipline. There is no reason why chemistry cannot be done in a more efficient way. And the best way to deliver efficient chemistry is to have efficient laboratories that are mindful for their carbon footprint, as well as the carbon footprint of the chemistry within.